Hello there, I'm another Magento Dev and in this video we're going to look at your theme setup in more detail um, and we're going to look at how to enable your theme without accessing the admin at all. So we're going to do it all in the all in the code base, all in the file system and I'm going to show you how to update that config um, and I'm also going to show you how to compile any SCSS framework um, or library base starting point within a Magento theme using Gulp will be sort of ground zero in terms of tutorials for over the next few weeks a full Magento 2 site build so this is going to be the first in a series where we are going to look at the header in more detail the footer in more detail we're going to look at some upgrade scripts we're going to look at PDP and, and catalog and and obviously check out and, and cart as well but we've got to start here we've got to start with your theme set up and um, I hope you enjoy it so starting points okay i've got a uh, install already complete i've got another video on that so i won't cover that in this um of 2.4.1 i believe 2.4.2 .2 is about to drop and um, so i might actually do a video on upgrading um as that one as that one comes out if i'm still recording these tutorials then but uh, that aside right okay so when we start theming essentially you've got to make some decisions on you know what are you going to use in your theme for your base css um, i've got another tutorial on how to include a theme with gulp into your magento 2 workflow which you might find useful it's 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 what it might you might find useful if you go through back to that one now um, and have a quick look and how to get that set up because I'm not going to go through the setup in detail but what I am going to go through is um, how to edit that setup to be able to use basically any SAS library you, you fancy really because uh, it, it compiles in a, in a specific way that's pretty universal and um, and quite easy to, uh, to, to edit so I'm starting here from um, from my theme I've created it in ASOS Luma um, and I've got my sort of core core stuff in here um, the the CSS is always going to compile to a style CSS and that style CSS is always going to be um, output to a header block and that's going to be the extension of Luma themes um, styles M and styles L so I'm not going to split them out I'm just gonna have one file and I'll, I'll, I'll add my own breakpoints and um, at this point I'm going to introduce you to one called primitive um, it's dead simple you've got a you've got a grid um, you've got containers you've got a bit of typography if you need it buttons forms tables lists um, and you've got other helpers which are useful a vertical align is is useful in it um, you've got a uh, you've got some helpers like left and right text you've got responsive image images and then your other usual nice to have things that you can just whack on containers like blocks inline blocks a uh, bit of bit of padding which is it's set to two rem which is probably quite a lot so you can you can knock that down though and, and that's what i'm going to get onto so i've got a copy of this um in uh, downloaded to my machine so how do we get that into into this theme that i've got here well as i say the gulp process is going to always compile to here so it's pretty safe really to just go right i'm not going to use um this sas folder anymore i'm literally and i'll show you how it was i just had some you know some really sort of basic stuff blank files basically in here so i'm going to get rid of i'm going to get rid of that base folder i'm going to get rid of um all this css in here um, i'm going to get rid of modules i'm going to keep style css here S Right, so I've got a nice blank SCSS folder. I'm going to stick these two things in here. And then I'm going to, to make life easy for myself, I'm not going to copy in the main CSS. I'm just going to copy the main, the contents of the main CSS over to my old styles one. Um, but you get, you get the gist of what it's going to do. Um, I'm just going to bang that in there like that. And that... That basically links up all my um, sort of all my um, all the primitive sorry base styles 
and components. And as I say, now we've got it in here uh, as SAS or as SCSS, it's dead easy to, to, to sort out. Like I said, if I want to just change the padding on top to one rem, two rem, rather uh, from two rem, then and the same with the margin, then I can do so in here. And when I gulp it in a sec, it's going to um, it's, it's going to update for me on the front end. So yeah, with that said, I'm I'm going to gulp it. So basically, I've got a, a open a terminal for my theme. I'm running gulp in my theme. Uh, I just find it just easier. I get less problems, and we're installed. So I'm just going to run gulp for the first time. Just get that kicked in, and as you can see, it has compiled everything. Um, to a nice minified styles, so that's that sorted. The next thing to do is to get your theme um, registered in Magento. So up currently is um, normal Luma. All right, and let's get this assigned. So I like to do it. I like to change the system setting in config. So and then you can actually. I'll just paste this in from one of my other projects. This is called ASOS. It's called Luma Child. Okay. And now I've um oh that would be wrong. It's Luma Child. And now if I run uh I'll actually show you. So if I refresh the front end. Actually if I switch the caches off and refresh the front end. So when I'm developing locally I always switch off layout cache. I've mentioned it before in other one, in other tutorials. Uh, layout cache and full page cache. Um, so there's been an error. Now it's because I'm in the wrong uh, mode. I'm in sort. Of, I'm in default mode. Uh, so for developing, I need to be in developer mode. The main difference with developer mode and any other mode is that you get to see the errors. Great, got the error that I expected. So I need to change because I've changed some settings in, or because I've added some settings into config PHP. Magento wants me to um, confirm those. Right, brilliant. And we can see straight away by just looking at this button that my theme if we look at this look my theme is now here and active and I haven't had to log into the admin to to do it I've, I've done it all from you know the front end and, and the command line you can see it sort of changed the font um, to the base font that comes with primitive and you can see it's added my style sheet look there it is um, ASOS Luma child and it's and also there was a little bit of a delay there when it loaded and that's because in developer mode I've said this before but it's good to know refreshing creates or builds static content you don't have to run it on command line and um, you have to you can force run it on command line and it's a good idea to, to force run it now and again to make sure that everything compiles and your Mac done or your computer doesn't sort of like miss anything out or fail to deploy because obviously it does depend on how um, how good a computer you got really um, so yeah and that's just from changing a setting there putting it in developer mode importing my config and resetting so set up and I'm now ready I'm now ready to go um, with caches off so there's probably one final little thing to uh, to just test is working and that is my live reload which is well useful now yeah you get that error so this is live reload this is the one you want um, and it just sits up here in not in there why do I keep clicking on that in here um, and at the moment it won't let me won't let me put it on and that is because I need to go watch and now I'm gulp watching, watching for changes in my SAS, um, in my SCSS files. I can now switch this this on. Brilliant. And you know it's working because it bangs a little script there at the bottom. This is all built into the um, 
into the default theme that I'm using. Uh, again, I'll put the link. I've, 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 it's a gist that I've put together or for a little package for download on on GitHub, which you can take and do what you like with. Um, you just have to put your settings in, um, and and away you go. So that's now all working. I've now got Live Reload up and running, which will be nice and which will be useful. So that's sort of like part one. I know I've gone over some stuff in this video uh, that I've that I have covered before, but the next video we are going to cover the header again. I know I've done um, I've done a quick tutorial, another tutorial regarding the header and moving blocks around. We are going to be looking at the header in more detail than I have done before. We're going to be doing an actual full header. Um, with everything CSS styles at the lot adding stay tuned um, as these sort of tutorials drop and like and subscribe and uh, cheers